and they're telling people lies. For example, the reason why it tells you not to bear false witness is because it has to manifest. This is how this is how the unseen be seen by the people that represent God. Because you can't see God, you can't see spirit. So the only way you can see God is through a vessel, through the people that he chooses to speak for him. So, for example, let's talk about Cain and Abel, right? Right. One the story again. says that Abel wanted to feed sheep and make them fat and bring them back to God. Cain, right? Cain love how the earth love what the earth produced it that means he loved the teachings of man he loved the wisdom of man and what they gave him right, right. and he brought that knowledge back to god now every character has characteristics that teaches you right either a spiritual matter or corner matter or a fleshly matter. So when you're reading about characters in the book, it's a lesson, it's a teaching, it's a message. Cain and Abel are out there today. I can show you a Cain and I can show you, I can show you an Abel. I can show you two of these characters that have been manifested so I won't have to bear false witness to you. So I won't be telling you about something in the book that I've never seen before. See that? This is how God becomes real, is real. See that? Mm -hmm. So the end time prophecy is what? God going to show you that he is real. That's what Israel is. Is well, well, real light. Okay, so so then how do you... Okay, so you like to put up words together. Put Palestine with something that has to do with the that's Bible. A, that's a, that war that you see, it has nothing to do with God. What is that? What is it? What is, why, why are they fighting for? It's deception. They probably fighting, they probably fighting for land, money. It could be anything. But they trying uh -huh. to plant, they trying to put it to you because in Revelation, if you follow in your book, in Revelation, what it tells you, it tells you false Jews are gonna build up a false, um, they're gonna build up synagogues. And they're gonna be telling you a lie. Have you read that before? Yeah, in Revelation, you said, right? In Revelation, yeah. 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 So 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 those false Jews done built up false, um, they done built up uh, a synagogue, which is a lie. So anybody that's trying to go over there is 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 caught up in the lie. Because Israel is a people, not a place. Israel got on the map in 19, 1948. So we are a people of God. We're not a place of God. That's why we've so, been scattered so, over. So, so all, all, of our, all of us are Israelites? Is, is that what you're implying? Who? All of us are Israelites? Is that what you're implying? Anybody that God chooses, whether you red, white, blue, green, purple, yellow, it don't matter what color you is. God chooses he, who he going to choose. But you already said everyone is, is Israelite. Yeah, the ones that have been led by the Spirit and have the true understanding, yes, they are so, Israelite. So if, I, so, if I, so if I don't read the Bible and I don't understand it to the way you understand it, I'm not an Israelite. You don't. You just don't have the understanding. Because it, it was never supposed to take literal. You're supposed to worship God in spirit and truth. This is a spiritual matter. It has nothing to do with flesh and blood. When it comes to genetics and genealogies and stuff like that, I'm not worried about that. Worried yeah, that's about. what I'm saying. So how? So my question is, how you gonna find the, the people? Because I know who you talking about them Hebrew Israelites, all of them telling you that black people and all that stuff—that's a lie. And they're 